two months ago, Thailand's opposition was celebrating a shock victory in general elections. Thai voters in May overwhelmingly supported the country's two progressive parties, rejecting nearly a decade of military rule. It's shaping up to be much harder than expected, though, to see front-runner Pita Limjarat elected as prime minister. The Thai parliament opened up the vote on Thursday, though lawmakers uh, Pita desperately needs support from seem to be getting cold feet. And then complicating his path even further, he also faces the threat of parliamentary suspension. France 24's Matt Hunt has more from Bangkok. It's definitely a big day for politics here in Thailand, as parliament has already started its joint session. Uh, ahead of the vote this afternoon for the next prime minister. So ahead of the session for the vote, there are six hours of deliberations, which have already begun. And as expected, several lawmakers have come forward and expressed they're, they're not supporting Pita as the prime minister and some in favor as well. However, what we expect to see is that there should be a vote around 5 p.m. Um, and in the meantime, people have already started to gather um, to express that they hope that the Senate, which is uh, viewed to be one of the largest obstructions to the current vote, will respect their vote. So last night they actually met um, and protested, demanding that the Senate will listen to them. And so the way that this actually works, the biggest obstacle that they have is that the upper house, which consists of 250 military appointed senators, will also have to vote for for the prime minister. And so within the coalition that Pita has already formed, he just simply does not have enough votes to win the premiership. And so he will require at least 64 votes from military appointed senators to pass this vote to become the next prime minister, which has caused a lot of people to feel that the military is attempting to, again, obstruct this vote. And they are demanding that people uh, pay very close attention and that they demand that the senators respect their vote today and vote for Pita Limdalamra to become the next prime minister. So if this isn't sorted out today, what comes next then? What comes next is really hard to tell, however, if we look at the historical context of this um, and based on reporting that I've done in the past on the same issue, people will definitely take to the streets. There's a lot of anger um, and people are watching for the abuse of power, which seems to have come at the very last hour ahead of this vote yesterday when the Constitutional Court was given the case against Pita Limjalamrat, which could see him uh, determined to be ineligible and his party dissolved. So there could be protests. People are already gathering outside of parliament and barricades have been set up. However, technically, if the vote does fail, there should be a second vote for the prime minister scheduled for the 19th of this month, uh, so next week. Um, but in the meantime, it is possible that there could be unrest uh, as a result of today's vote.